um, I'm not sure, but I will probably soft spoken, soft uh, speak, speak softly. <laughs> so, first of all, I'm from Czechia or Czech Republic. <coughs> And my neighbors are loud, so I will probably do the soft spoken. Let's get into this video. I hope that works. Uh, I will make a test. Test, test. Test, test. Test should work, but uh, if it doesn't work, I will just give it a second shot uh, because I have this on paper and uh, I can uh, talk about it more times. So I'm 43 years old and um, at my uh, 18, 19, uh, probably 18, uh, I had a psychosis. Uh, it was the year 1999. And I uh, got into a madhouse uh, because um, I was um, out of nowhere. I was uh, thinking that I'm everybody's angel, and I was uh, like um, stalk people on the street wherever they go and uh, my mother actually didn't know that this is uh, uh, s how to say it <laughs> I have a translator here so like um, psychiatrist uh, disease or how to, illness or something well I will not you understand me so she called um, normal um, emergency car she went with me to the normal hospital and there the doctors uh, decided to depart, depart me to the madhouse um, there I was something like one month and they gave me meds um, the meds um, not sure if in that time it made me um, gain weight. I'm not sure. But it was probably 2006. So let's say I was just very sleepy from that. And I was 1999, I was graduating from high school. <coughs> Then I worked for three years in my field. Uh, it wasn't actually full three years. <laughs> and um, oh, I worked till 2002. Then I was without work. But then what happened was January. 2004 
when my mother died and uh, I'm not sure it, I was okay in that time and I was still without work um, but um, at 2006 I got into Madhouse again uh, there I gained weight uh, they gave me meds that made me gain weight and I never actually um, dropped that weight back um, so then there is the long time without meds uh, and without work from 2006 I'm not sure if I was there just one month or three months and um, then um, so there is the year 2015 till then I was playing games and uh, um, mostly on Facebook and um, I had a dog uh, and I had to start to live alone without my mother and um, so I had no work and uh, I kinda um, stopped using meds but I didn't lose the weight uh, so then there was oh and 2015 I was on diet like a couple of months uh, for a reason I just wanted to see if I can lose weight and it was under the doctor's uh, under the doctor you know uh, she knew what I'm doing and that it was okay <clears throat> I lost a lot of weight and I was pretty again like I uh, was really slim but that actually uh, triggered uh, the psychosis or what and it uh, came back to me I had no meds and uh, I was uh, threatening a couple of people that I will kill them uh, it went to the court uh, and um, and I have a note here that from 2008 to 2017 I was without meds and uh, he gave me like the psychiatrist gave me uh, meds but it was via uh, mouth so I stopped I thought that I don't need it so I stopped again and um, then I had um, I'll tell you how to say it where is it oh the 2016 when I was threatening people uh, they gave me like as a punishment a mandatory psychiatrist visits every month 
so I don't need to be in Madhouse but I have to visit psychiatrist um, then something happened I stopped using the mats um, at 2017 like at the end of it in fall uh, and um, the, there is where my schizophrenia started to be in my life and um, I was throwing things from window at 7th floor so that's why they found out um, that I need to be hospitalized in madhouse again so briefly I was uh, thinking that I am making a concert uh, of Lady Gaga for my neighbors and um, that I need to clean the house before she comes so I was in my kitchen and I was uh, throwing away uh, things that you can find in kitchen so knives um, dishes, uh, pots and such from 7th floor I know it's not funny but I have to laugh and I destroyed a car and um, police uh, get me to the madhouse I was there three months and um, I didn't uh, need to be in the court for this uh, crime let's say because they said I was out of my mind so um, I wasn't punished by Kurt or police or who gives the punishments so uh, but um, oh and since 2017 I'm regularly on medication which means that I wanted them to give me injections so it never happens that I will stop using meds so they are giving me monthly injections that are to my butt that the medication is drawn from there every day uh, for one month so I have to go I, n I have I must go to the doctors uh, it's mandatory uh, and at, at the occasion I'm uh, getting the injections that keep me alive or healthy so oh but uh, after this happened um, I got disabled uh, but it's from the it's counted from the 2017 and um, I have this schizophrenia and they also um, after what happened 2017 they restricted my legal capacity I think that they 
did that because uh, they they fear that it will um, um, that it will happen again but um, that I have restricted capacity doesn't um, make me doesn't make me be silent or if I had them um, if I stopped using the medication um, it would happen again I would do things and they wouldn't have control over it so I'm not sure why they restricted my capacity it's really cripple crippling me this is really a bad thing that happened to me thanks of the illness so mental Ill illness mm. so uh, I have here a couple of things that um, I want to say that are like negatives in my um, case and that is education. I chose um, special education um, like when I was 15 and I can't uh, work in my field so all the education is for nothing because I can't work in um, pharmacies because I'm mentally ill so the career is um, destroyed by this illness um, then um, another negative is that I can't manage my money I can manage my money but I have restrictions to up to 20,000 check rounds per month I can manage it, but if I get officially something that is higher than this, they would take it. They would give me just 20,000 check crowns and the rest they would probably never give me. And they would say that it's for important things. It never happened because I never had more than 11,000 check rounds but it's a very big negative in my life uh, then another negative is that um, I don't have husband, family and kids and I think it's because of my mental illness <clears throat> Then another ne negative of this uh, illness is that I can't wait and I can't lose it. There is an option to lose it if I am on diet. But it's not healthy so I will never do it. So I'm forever fluffy maybe last negative is that I must work afternoons because I have bad sleep I can't fall asleep and such so basically I wanted to tell you that um, to have Schizophrenia is a very bad. Um, it, 
destroys your education, your career and actually your life because anything can happen and they need to be in control of that so that's what happened to me <laughs> not sure if I said everything but um, overall I'm quite happy and um, especially because of the work I work in a place for disabled people and we do very simple work <coughs> so that's probably all I'm not sure what to say I didn't much think about it I just wanted to make a video this video and um, the medication is really awesome that can make you live normal life but the medication is forever so um, you must have it to survive so hopefully nothing bad happens in my country and so I can live okay so have a nice time good night and I will see you next time